Hello everyone. Welcome to the new video. Today we will discuss in brief about health authority cases or regulatory authority cases. So let's start. As we already discussed sources of reports in pharmacovigilance in our previous video. You can find that video in i button above. Now let's first discuss the ideal process flow of safety reports in brief. In most of the cases consumer or healthcare professional can report the adverse event report to the pharmaceutical company pharmaceutical company also called as marketing authorization holder of the drug once pharmaceutical company receive safety report from the reporter then this safety report will be database and submitted to the health authorities like food and drug administration or european medicines agency or any other regulatory authority as applicable by the pharmaceutical company such safety reports were generally treated as spontaneous reports however in few cases consumer or healthcare professional directly report adverse event safety report to regulatory authority and not to the pharmaceutical company in such cases once reporter submit the report to health authority health authority can database the safety report into their safety database and then those safety reports will be shared to pharmaceutical company by health authorities This type of cases which were received by pharmaceutical companies from health authority or regulatory authority are called as health authority cases or regulatory authority cases. You might have heard about US cases and EV cases. So, if any pharmaceutical company receive reports from United States Food and Drug Administration which is a health authority for United States. Such reports would be treated as US cases. and if any pharmaceutical company receive safety reports from the european medicines agency which is the health authority for the countries in european union such reports would be treated as ev cases now let's discuss points to be considered while processing health authority cases into the pharmaceutical company's safety database report type for such safety reports would be regulatory authority or health authority next point is need to process the safety reports as is which means do not make any modification in any field third point is report sent to regulatory authority checkbox need to be selected as yes in the safety database due to which safety database cannot send back that report again to same regulatory authority from which pharmaceutical company received the safety report please note resubmission of serious cases without new information to the originating regulatory authority is not usually necessary unless otherwise specified by local regulation rest case processing can be done as per company's case processing convention all pharmaceutical company follow different set of principle to database the case and convention is based on the safety database which company is using to document the safety report that's it for today hope you like the video if you found this information helpful please subscribe to the channel and share the video It will motivate me to create more such videos. Thank you.